Brianna got a lot of attention on Outlander Season 4, Episode 11 and not just from some of the men at dinner. Here are her best five moments from the night. Outlander Season 4, Episode 11 was heavily focused on Brianna at River Run. While her parents and cousin headed north to find her husband, her great-aunt Jo Casta pushed her into a marriage she didn't want. She certainly received plenty of attention from some of the men at the dinner, but the episode also spent more time on her than the others. That's why I'm focusing on her top five best moments unlike Jamie and Claire, where I'm only focusing on three. I know not everyone enjoys Brianna's character, but I adore her. I love how outspoken and confident she can be, but also how much she realizes she has to learn about the world. This episode showed that a lot. 5. Her straightforwardness towards Forbes. There was one moment in particular that made me laugh out loud. While they play the psychology game, Forbes asks if he has to close his eyes. Brianna is just so blunt and straightforward, making it clear that she has absolutely no interest in him. Poor. Pippin. That continues when Forbes asks Brianna if he wants to know who he imagined himself walking with. It was Brianna's attempt to make him back away and he completely missed the signs. 4. Drawing Phaedra. We finally got to see Brianna the artist. While she spent time at the start allowing the anger and hurt to show through her artwork, she finally got an inspiration of beauty in Phaedra. Considering the fact that her mother's closest friend in Boston is Joe Abernathy and Brianna lived with Gail, it's not surprising that she sees past the color. She doesn't judge on the color of her skin. While we don't hear her thoughts on slavery, probably because she knows there's nothing she can do, it's clear that she doesn't want to treat Fedra as a slave. Instead, she sees the human beauty in the way the light shines on her face. It's awkward for Fedra, but afterward. Brianna isn't sorry for choosing to go with the flow of her muse. And this connects to the next great moment. 3. Walking away from Lord John Gray and the Judge. During the night, Brianna gets up and sees Lord John Gray and the Judge in the pantry. It's a chance to give Brianna something to blackmail John with but that doesn't quite go to plan. And that's not what I liked. What I loved is that Brianna didn't say anything. I think a lot of times. Fiction writes these sorts of instances where there's a sound of shock. The two people caught in a questionable situation know they've been caught. We didn't get that. Brianna may not have even thought what could happen to John Gray and the judge. And I don't feel at the time that she immediately thought of blackmailing anyone. All she knew is that this was something private and she needed to get away. Plus, there was no judgment when she did bring it up to John. Yes. She tried to blackmail but she didn't judge him for his sexuality, showing the type of caring and kind woman she is deep down. 2. Realizing she needs to marry. After the dinner, Jocasta makes it clear to Brianna that a marriage is a necessity. It's not that she doesn't believe in the hand fasting, but that she doesn't believe Roger will return. Yes, there are ulterior motives but Jocasta is also thinking about her great niece. The people will judge Brianna and she needs to make sure the baby is born in wedlock. Jocasta decides to stop skirting around the issue and just makes it clear what people will say. There's that moment, a flash in Brianna's eyes. You can tell that she hasn't quite realized of the predicament she's in and what needs to happen. 1. Bonding with Jocasta Throughout the episode, we got a chance to see Brianna and Jocasta bonding. This is something that I'd been waiting for. While Brianna is outspoken, she also knows she has a lot to learn. And the only person to teach her that is Jocasta, right now. My favorite moment has to be when Jocasta makes it clear that Brianna is having a dress and will go to the dinner. There's a chance for them to bond over their love of art and how Brianna is very much like Helen. Because we've never got to meet Helen and we haven't had as many mentions as there are in the book, it's hard to see that Brianna is so much like her grandmother. We got to see how Brianna wants to know more about this side of her family, while trying not to feel guilty about it. 